Welcome to my little Cymbidium shelf here on my back deck. It's a sunny winter's day and it's actually pretty hot. I think it's about 24 degrees already. Um, and I'm planning to repot some of these guys that I got about six months ago. So those three and also this one. So in the last few months, they've all started um, bringing out these structures um, and in the beginning I was not sure whether they were new growths or if they were flower spikes but now I am 100% sure they're all flower spikes so I'm just going to go ahead and repot because you can see that I think these pots are too big and um, it's a really coarse bark mix which means that during summer I'm going to have to be watering, watering them about every day which I don't want to do so I'm gonna put a slightly more water attentive mix through um, obviously I couldn't get any of these guys to bloom for me so I am no Cymbidium expert uh, but I thought you might just like to come along for the ride and we'll check out the root systems together and I'll tell you what I do when I've been repotting my Cymbidiums and feel free to give me any tips or advice yourselves Okay, so we've got Cymbidium Foxfire Amber here and she does not have um, a big growth at the moment but there is a little one just here, I'm not sure if I can show you. Um, so there's something developing and because I'm repotting the others I'll repot this one as well. You can see there's heaps of space um, all around the orchid, so I think the pot's a bit too big. Um, and it's also quite a deep pot, which is meant to be appropriate for cymbidiums because their roots do tend to grow downwards, but I just don't have any um, decorative pots that fit this. Whatever's in this is super heavy, and I just find it the biggest chore um, watering these cymbidiums, so they are getting changed. So we will unpot this guy and I'll give it a really good squeeze. First of all. And wriggle. bark medium which is quite soft oh I see a couple of little spiders in here which well that's okay um, but also there's this rock in here which is probably what's weighing down the pot I don't know what sort of rock it is it's probably lava rock it looks a bit porous but Yes, we're going to get rid of that and I'm going to put it in something a little bit more water attentive. So in summer when it's growing, I don't have to worry too much um, about drying out. So I'm going to get all this medium out, then I'm going to give the roots a wash and we're going to have a little look at the root system and get rid of the dead roots in there. Okay, so we're back and most of the media is gone. You can see it's got big root mass but a lot of these roots are dead and especially in the core most of the roots are actually dead. There's also a whole bunch of ants and a couple of spiders in here which is making me feel itchy already um, <laughs> but I have to go through one by one and we're going to inspect the roots it's pretty obvious in Cymbidium orchids which roots are alive and dead. Um, they're big roots and they feel nice and firm and stiff and they may have like a growing root tip like that if they are alive. Dead roots, well, they're soft and mushy like this one and just pull gently and the vellum usually just comes off. You can see that here. Like this root, the velamen just comes off and it leaves this dead root behind. So 
oh my god there's ants everywhere all right I have to sort this out and I'll be back once I clean up this root system okay I'm back and you can see I'm not left with nearly as much as I started these are all dead roots here um, and you can see most of that center or the back portion of the orchid had dead roots um, the good thing about cymbidiums is that they have lots of eyes so you can even see here there's one two there between each sort of leaf axle and um, you know compared to say cat layers which may have two or three eyes on cydiums these guys have like anywhere between 8 to 16 eyes so that's why they're easy to pro propagate from back bulbs because they have a lot of available new growth points um, and the other thing is their root systems are very forgiving so you know some of these roots might actually still have been a little bit alive um, but you can trim roots as well to help fit into pots and they will branch out um, and when this does start to develop new growth so this one's bulging up I've shown you this one here um, it will develop its own root system so this plant's going to be just fine and we're going to repot it into this pot here you can see that this pot has really good drainage I've got ventilation holes on the side so I think it's going to work really well and it's a much more appropriate size for this orchid. Alright so next we're going to spray with some hydrogen peroxide this whole root system, all those dead bits in there and in between. Unfortunately the hydrogen peroxide doesn't kill ants and spiders but I think we'll survive. The other thing I've done is try and remove as much of the old um, dry dead sheets as possible um, from in between each bulb uh, just because it's a good place for pests to harbour um, and also ants seem to love cymbidiums um, and they can develop nests in those dried sheets as well so good reason to remove them. Okay, so I'm going to unpot a few more orchids and then we'll be back for the repotting of this one. Okay, so I'm back. I've unpotted these four um, cymbidiums and I've cleaned up the roots. I've got two bigger ones and a medium sized one and a small one. So I'll definitely use these for the big ones but might get some smaller pots for the others. Um, I've lined these pots with some larger lecker beads to improve the drainage through these pots. And um, I'm going to use a combination of things for my medium. So I've got some leather beads and some large bark. Um, and I'm also going to mix in uh, some of my usual um, orchid mix, which has bark, perlite and charcoal in it. Um, but I've also got this stuff, which looks like dirt, but it is actually orchid mix. And, you know, I bought it a couple of years ago when I was starting out with the hobby and I had no idea what I was doing. But it does say orchid mix suitable for terrestrials and epiphytes. It's got bark, choir, wetting agent. It's got some fertilizer in it as well, but you can see how fine that is. And I would never use that on my epiphytic orchids. But for cymbidiums, they are terrestrial orchids um, and they don't mind being planted in much finer mix as long as it drains well. So it's a good time to use this stuff up because I'll never use it for anything else. You know, I find it really surprising though that it actually says that it's perfect for fowls, dendrobiums, cat layer. I mean, would you really use this stuff for cat layer? I wouldn't, but anyway. We're gonna mix that all up um, along with my little premix stuff there and that's what we're going to use. So. I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm back with Foxfire Amber here. And 
He's going to fit pretty perfectly into this pot, I think. Um, now, it's always got this direction of growth, but it is possible that it can um, still grow from this one. So I'm going to place it pretty centrally. Okay. Now, in terms of this medium, I don't know if I use all of my shitty <laughs> Symbidium terrestrial mix, but we will mix um, a lot of this together. There we go. So, if your roots don't quite fit in the pot, just twist the pot a little bit. Um, and then you hold the orchid just so it's sitting at the level you want. And now it's time to just fill in the rest. So, there we go. potted orchid here just push your thumbs down around the sides make sure there's no big air gaps in the middle you can do the the repotting test um, by lifting your orchid up and the pot should come up with it if it's nice and secure obviously if you don't have a good root system please don't do that because it probably won't work um, and yeah, now I'm going to water this orchid. Um, after repotting, I usually also put in a couple of drops of um, Super Thrive for whatever it's worth, whether it does anything or not, I don't know, but I seem to have a bottle, so I'm going to use it. And there we have it. Some Vidium Foxfire Amber. You better bloom for me next year. And here are my four repotted cymbidiums. Just draining the excess water into the sources and then I will put them back up here where they live. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.